And what's the history of your name? Like, I never heard of a, uh, a mate. What's a mate? A uh, mate is um, it's like, a, like a cup of tea. Instead of pouring uh, the sack of tea inside the, the cup and later the, the water, you put all the, all the tea in the cup, you fill it with, with the tea, and later you put uh, the boiling water in there and you serve it and you suck it with a, with a stick that we call it bombisha. Okay, because I never seen that kind of drink before. Like I know for a typical tea, we just have like you know, sweet tea, iced tea, green tea, those other kind of teas. It's everyone's friend. It's Tyler. It's everyone's friend. It's Tyler. Hello, everybody. This is Tyler Preston Twenty. I'm here with an RG YouTuber that goes by the name of Mati Iviendo. And he makes videos talking about Islam, talking about feminism, and the other kind of, you know, political stuff. How are you doing? Fine. How? <coughs> Hello, everyone. Some guy by the name of uh, Coleman says, now in Spanish. Okay. Hola, me llamo Taylor y sorry con mati hindiendo y hablando sobre la políticas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Terrible. So I'm kind of curious, like, uh, what's your inspiration to create your uh, YouTube channel? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know, really. I, I only want to do YouTube videos, and I see things that I want to talk, and I, I do that. First, I was uh, thinking in doing an archip of the political person of my country, mm -hmm. uh, of politicians, and uh, see what they were talking at the time, and that the video is stay in YouTube for a long time. And when this politician in the future uh, contradicts themselves, saying things that they are are contrary what of what they have said in the past, I was thinking in that. Of I was thinking of that. When have you started to become, I guess, more as far as like you know, feminism and uh, social justice? When do you start to uh, pay more attention to that? Uh, when was a march here that uh, the feminists do that is called the Women's March, uh -huh. and they start to throw in uh, bombas, uh, Molotov cocktails to the police, and I started to see that. Is I say, what the fuck? And I guess like that one time, I remember seeing some sort of image. I guess of these feminists in Argentina, which were naked, <laughs> and they were just screech, screeching out loud. What's all that about? Ah, yes, yes. The, the, the image was femicide is genocide. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I guess the femicide is like when you just just kill women because they're women, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, do they have legit concerns, or do you say it's like uh, frivolous? You see, uh, I think the this is a topic that is sensitive. For example, uh, we have uh, some cases of uh, girls that were killed; uh, they were butchered and put in a plastic bag. Uh, we have uh, some girl that was impaled. Impaled. I, I don't know the word. Uh, you put a stick uh, to the ass through all the body and to, <laughs> to the mouth. It's so brutal, you see? Wow, I think the word is impaled. Impaled, yeah. yeah. Uh, there is brutal murders of women, and it's happened uh, all the time. It happened one uh, murder uh, every three, 30 hours. Wow. But if you compare that to, for example, a man who dies, uh, I hear one man, dies every three hours you see you are more safe here if you are a woman than if you are a, a man so i i don't think that there is a legitimate concern about a man killing women. i think there is a legitimate concern about for example the police don't do in their shop uh, a politician that they are very corrupt and don't put something, uh, some goods in the street, like lights or uh, urbanization and those things. As far as men's rights are concerned, like uh, do the politicians or like the people that you see every day in your life, 
do they care about these issues that affect men if they were to get screwed over by somebody else? I think yes. You see, there is no like a, a politician say men uh, to men the, this happen and we have to make a solution to to this topic uh, because uh, and so. Uh, that thing doesn't appear in the TV, doesn't appear in, in the politician speech. Uh, appear, yes, the woman. You see, they say, well, women are being killed here and we have to uh, resolve this and have, find a solution. Ta -ta 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 -ta. But in the reality, we are no, we have no uh, difference uh, between how is treated a man or how is treated a woman in the legal system. When there is a separation, where there is a divorce, uh, the woman always get the, the son in, and those things, but that is, is in the, all the world. You can do a feminist argument about that because the, there was a patriarchal system. It's no show because it's in the legal term. Uh, we, we call it here the patria potestad. Uh, patria potestad means that you have uh, the right to your son that comes from the Roman, the the rights of the Roman of that era. You were a patriarcha, uh, you were a, a chief of a clan. You will call it a patriarcha, and you have the rights over the people that uh, were uh, bef uh, down you, okay. under you. Uh, so you have the rights over your sons, the rights over your daughters, the rights over your wife, and all the people on the on your tribe. And you have the right to say. Uh, you do that or you don't do that. You even have the right to kill your son if you want, no? because uh, they were they were um, a property for you. What? The and, fuck? Yes, yes, it was in the Roman Empire. It was the the Roman the Roman rights it, that was in the early Roman Empire when it was forming. Later, we you see, were one thousand years more or less the Roman Empire. The, the laws were changing. And to, till this day, till 50 years ago, more or less, the fathers and the mother have uh, the, the patria potestad over their, son, their sons. As far as the whole entire, I guess, the idea of Hispanophobia, like, is it that idea <laughs> more no, no, that, that, That's more uh, idiotic than what you think. In Spain, in Spain, there is a movement, is the Catalan movement that want to separate themselves from Spain. It's like the Brexit, but uh, for Spain. Catalonia is a province, uh, an state inside Spain. You see, and they want to separate themselves because they say we are not treated like the Spains, the Spaniards, the Spanish people. Uh, they are stealing us money because we put a lot of money contributing to the to the state and we receive nothing and blah 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 so there is the separatistas the separatists and uh, los and the people from spain that don't want catalonia to break apart so uh, these people do something really retarded that is called it the catalonians that want to separate themselves from spain they call them hispanophobics <laughs> in, in that in that thing they are sell, telling them you are right you are not from spain because if you are if you are hispanophobic how can you be is, is spanish it's like i say you uh, tyler you're a racist against black people i i haven't really paid much attention to what is going on in catalonia but i'm sure that like the people excuse to why they want to leave it's not, you know, based on the fact that they just say it's Spaniards. Have um, a Congress. They pass a law. Mm. But when the law comes to the federal state, they say, no, this law, we don't, we don't care about this law. You, you are wrong. And we'll, our law is what is the real law. So you, uh, your law doesn't matter. It's like uh, Texas pass a law and the government of the United States says, no, you, you cannot pass that law. It's like saying, ah, well, why I am a state? I have uh, some state rights, some autonomy. Uh, the Catalonia doesn't have that. Hmm. They are dependent on the government. You mentioned earlier about the uh, 
the much the Molotov bombs. Um, can you please tell me about the situation about like why there were people just throwing Molotov bombs? It was like something about I forgot the name of it. It was uh, where is I forgot the guy's name. Santiago Maldonado. Yeah. Well, it's something very strange. Uh, you see, uh, first there, there was a protest. There was a protest uh, here in the south of Argentina that was in Santa Cruz of some Indians, some aborigines that were called the Mapuches, saying, "We have a right to the land. Give us the land." Well, first. They are not Indians. They, they are not real Indians. And this is not uh, a true Scotland fallacy. It's because they are not real Indian. It's like saying, uh, it's like you, you. It's like you. Know. It's like you saying that you're black, but you're not really black. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> These people, for example, there was a guy that is a leader of the Mapuches. The, uh, it, that is called the tribe. That was a vlogger in the in the in his early 18s. Uh, a vlogger was a, a guy that uh, uploaded fo uh, photos to uh, a site called Photolog. It's like an Instagram, but for uh, from the past. And they were uh, like an urban tribe, like the emos or like I don't know the the rappers. And, and now he's a Mapuche. He's a, an Indian. You see, <laughs> you ask, you say, what the fuck? <laughs> well, what happened in this protest is that they, uh, the police did uh, use the force to get the Mapuches out of the way. And they say that there is a guy of that tribe, Santiago Maldonado, that was uh, missing that disappear uh, disappear here in Argentina uh, el desaparecido have a, a connotation with the uh, military era in the dictatorship that we have that the dictatorship took people from the took people and they uh, kidnapped them kidnapped them and they, and later killed them and make them disappear they threw it uh, from uh, planes to the sea, so you cannot find them. Uh, they burn them. It, it was a crazy time. And there is disappeared people here from that era. We call it the desaparecidos. Hmm. So what they are claiming here is that Santiago Maldonado is a desaparecido. It's a people that the government did disappear. Uh, I mean, do they have any proof that the government did this? No, no, it only is not appear. Uh, to this case, Santiago Maldonado, they, they have no proof. But for the desaparecidos in the, epo the dictatorship era, yes, we have a lot of proof. Even we have uh, the CIA information from the CIA. I don't think that even if a person just, you know, was uh, kidnapped by somebody, like, I still don't think that, you know, using Molotov bombs and just destroying stuff is like the best way to just solve something. Like I would think the best way to find somebody through a kidnapping, you know, is like uh, probably talking to authorities, talking to, I guess, people and putting up posters. But I don't think that is like the right answer to do these things. Yeah, of course not. Of course not. But we have here something like these protesters that we call it piqueteros that are very violent. You see, they come to the protest with the mask on because they know that the police can identify them. They come with sticks to fight, to to punch a, to punch a policeman. They, they are very, very violent people. These piqueteros were being paid they you pay them to protest but the person that they pay them was the kirchneristas was the gov govern of uh, the president kirchner that we have here these protesters were being paid for showing support for nestor kirchner or christina kirchner what happened later is that this person has uh, been paid 
they form their own groups, you see. Uh, and even that they go against the, the President Kirchner and the President uh, Cristina Kirchner. And this person are very violent. So this person that were to protest and through Bomba Molotov uh, were from those, those groups. There was a time here we have some organization that call it INDEC, that is an organization of statistics of the state that did through some numbers about the inflation in Argentina. In Argentina. Now, the thing is this. The inflation was very high, and to the government, that is what is like bad PR. It was bad image. Im image. Uh, so they say, well, we, we have very, very less inflation, but the number, the index, the Institute of, of the National Statistics, say, no, wait, the inflation is very high. This is the number. So what they do for them to, in the index, to stop them, from throwing that number, they contract. They have contracted, employed hooligans. We call it here barra bravas. <laughs> uh, and these hooligans go to the index and uh, threat the persons, the the persons that were working in there, so that they throw the number that the government uh, wanted. Instances of the government uh, contracting. Uh, barra bravas or hooligans to protest is very very usual here 